Welcome to training for Science Olympia event Battery Buggy for 2019. This video will cover the following. Basic description, rules which include the construction parameters, competition, track, practice log, and scoring. For Battery Buggy, teams will construct a vehicle that uses electrical energy as its sole means of propulsion, quickly travels a specified distance, and stops as close as possible to a target point. The first rule is, read the rules. This video is not a substitution for reading the rules. The rules can be downloaded from the Science Olympia website. Make sure you always check for rule clarifications and frequently asked questions that are posted on the Science Olympiad website. Frequently asked questions, or FAQs, are posted throughout the competition season. Construction rules are covered in Section 3 of the rules. These explain the requirements for building the device. The vehicle must be designed to stop at a target point that is 9 to 12 meters away from the start point. The event supervisor will select the distance for the competition after impound. For regionals, the distance will be every 50 centimeters. For a state tournament, the distance is every 10 centimeters. For the national tournament, the distance is every one centimeter. And that is too many to list. The electrical energy source must come from AA batteries. These are common, commercially available AA batteries. Each battery must be individually labeled. A maximum of eight AA batteries can be used. Rechargeable batteries are allowed. The event supervisor needs to visually inspect the label on the battery. Mounting the batteries so they are easily inspected is recommended. Having to disassemble the device to inspect the batteries is not recommended. Propulsion must come from the electrical energy. A DC motor is used to convert the electrical energy into propulsion. Remember the vehicle must stop at the target point. The electric circuit must include a method to stop the flow of energy to the motor. Only the following electrical components can be used. Batteries, wires, motors, switches, resistors, potentiometers, and mechanical relays. The physical size is defined by a rectangle 30 centimeters wide by 60 centimeters long. Only the wheels or treads in their entirety must fit inside this rectangle. The vehicle frame, axles, dowel rod, or other body parts can extend beyond this rectangle. If any part of the wheels or tread extend outside this rectangle, then the device will receive a construction penalty. A single dowel rod must be attached to the front of the vehicle. The dowel must be approximately a quarter inch in diameter. The dowel must extend at least 20 centimeters above the floor. The bottom edge of the dowel must be less than one centimeter above the floor. The dowel must be perpendicular to the floor. The dowel must be the leading part of the vehicle at all times. Only an attachment device of no more than a half a centimeter can extend beyond the dowel's front edge. This means no part of the vehicle can be in front of the dowel. Only the wheels or treads are allowed to contact the floor. Any other parts making contact with the floor or detaching from the vehicle will receive a construction penalty. Participants must be able to answer questions regarding the design, construction, and operation of the device per the building policy found on the Science Olympiad website. Competition rules are covered in Section 5 of the rules. These explain what you are allowed to do and what you are not allowed to do during the competition. All devices are impounded before the start of the first competition time slot. The vehicle batteries, and other interchangeable parts along with the practice log must be impounded. Teams are given a maximum of eight minutes for up to two runs. 
participants are done after the second run is started or eight minute event time is reached. Participants may make adjustments or repairs to their devices during this eight minutes. Time used by the event supervisor for measuring is not included in these eight minutes. The event time is paused for all measurements made by the event supervisor and or their helpers. Participants must start the vehicle using an unsharpened number two pencil in a motion perpendicular to the floor to activate a switch. They may not touch or hold the vehicle during this action. A failed run occurs if the time and or distance cannot be measured for a run. Examples are the vehicle starts before the event supervisor is ready. Participants pick up the vehicle before it is measured. The vehicle does not reach the 0.5 meter line. Other cases are the vehicle runs backwards at the start of the run. Or the run does not start in the 8 minute event window. If the vehicle does not move when the switch is activated, then this will not count as a run. The vehicle must move from the start point to count as a run. The track definition is covered in section 6 of the rules. The start point is defined by a piece of tape approximately 5 cm by 2.5 cm with a dot in the center of the tape. The dowel's front edge must be over this start point when the vehicle begins its run. Target point is defined by another piece of tape 5 by 2.5 cm with a dot in the center. The distance between the start point and the target point is selected by the event supervisor after impound. Timing lines are placed on the track at 0.5 meters and 8.5 meters from the start point. The timing lines are perpendicular and centered to an imaginary center line between the start and target points. Timing lines are at least 2 meters long. The edge of the tape closer to the start point defines these lines. A bonus line is marked with a tape halfway between the start and target points. The bonus line extends perpendicular from the imaginary center line at least one meter to the left when facing the target point. Teams may earn the bonus by having their vehicle navigate between two cans located on the bonus line. The outer can is placed by the event supervisor at one meter from the imaginary center line. Prior to each run, the participants place the inner can at a distance of their choice on the bonus line. The inner distance between the two cans will be recorded. All parts of the vehicle must travel between the two cans to earn the bonus. A vehicle moving either of the cans will not receive the bonus. The cans can be removed if a team does not want to attempt the bonus for that particular run. Teams need to create a practice log for their vehicle. The log must record the vehicle distance from the target point, the run time, wheel setting, and the bonus can distance, if used, of at least 10 practice runs while varying at least one vehicle parameter. The logs must be impounded with the vehicle. The log will be returned to the participants when they are called to compete. There are penalties for a missing or incomplete log. Run scores are covered in section 7 of the rules. The run score for each run equals the run time plus two times the distance from the target point plus bonus plus any penalties. The better run score of the two runs is the final score. Incomplete or missing practice logs will apply a penalty to all runs. Run time starts when the dial rod on the vehicle reaches the 0.5 meter timing line and ends when either the dial rod passes the 8.5 meter timing line or the vehicle comes to a complete stop. The distance score is a point-to-point -point measurement from the measurement point on the dial rod to the target point. All distance measurements are measured to the nearest 0.1 centimeters. The bonus equals negative 0.5 times 110 minus the distance between the cans for the run. For example, if the distance between the cans for a run is 70.0 centimeters, then 70 is subtracted from 110, which results in 40. Negative 0.5 is multiplied by the 40 
for a bonus of negative 20 points. Remember, if the cans are moved by the vehicle, then the bonus is zero. Here's an example of a run score. Tiers are assigned to each run based on the following. Tier 1, a run with no violations. Tier 2, a run with competition violations. Tier 3, a run with any construction violations. Tier 4, the vehicle was not impounded. The final score will use the run with the lowest tier. Remember to read the rules. You should check for any rule clarifications or frequently asked questions before every tournament. Good luck and have fun.